Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sorry if my hair is a mess, if my makeup is looking a little bit crazy. I really wasn't planning on filming today, but I kept getting DMs recently asking about like the camera I use, the equipment, and all of that stuff. So I figured I might as well just show you guys my filming setup. Now my filming setup has changed a lot throughout the year, but I feel like for the most part, I've kept everything relatively affordable, more in that like middle price point where I invest some money, but I don't spend like thousands and thousands of dollars on lights and all that stuff. And also throughout this video, I'll talk about products that I've used in the past that worked really well, that are even more affordable than what I'm using now. So if you guys like the lighting and all of that, the sound of my video and you think it's pretty good and you wanna see the equipment and stuff that I use, then definitely please keep watching. But before you go anywhere, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. I seriously love you guys so much and let's get into on my iPhone camera right now so hopefully the quality is pretty good but when you walk in this is my studio setup I just have my desk in the middle here two box lights and a light in the center let's start off with the lighting so for my lighting I use these two box lights they're I guess this brand ESDDI. I got them from Amazon and it was like a pack of two for $65. Now don't quote me because the prices on Amazon always change. Sellers change their prices the more that people purchase from them. But any sort of box like, like this will work. And it's just like one giant bulb in there. So I like to have that on the sides. Middle light that I use is this one. It's the Young Nuo YN300. This one, this one I actually recently started using. Carly Bybell uses it, and I feel like ever since she said about lighting, she used it. Everybody and their mothers got it. But she was one of the first YouTubers ever that I started watching. So when I found out that her lighting that she used was affordable and good quality, I had to get it. Now, when I picked this light, so this is just like a square light that I have in the center to just really highlight my face when I'm doing my makeup tutorials. And when I purchased this light, it was about $80, but I recently looked at the price and it has gone up. Like I said, it's so annoying, but the more that people purchase items, prices do go up. Before I used this light, I actually got this maybe like two months ago. I used to use this ring light and this was the newer ring light <clears throat> so this one stays nice and bright you can adjust the settings for the light here if you don't want it as bright either now i just use this whenever i'm traveling and doing like makeup on clients i don't use it for filming anymore but it was still such a good quality light i really enjoyed that one but back to this one you can adjust the settings on here and then it does come with different lights um, I know in Carly Bible's video, she mentioned how she bought new battery packs so that it would last longer, but those were dumb expensive. So what I did was I purchased a separate charger and I just plug in my light and then the charger was only 27 bucks and it just keeps the battery so that it's charged the whole time that you're using it. But if you wanted to get separate battery packs, you could, and then that way you could have like a wireless light. So that's my lighting setup. I have a three point light and then some lighting in the back. So I just feel like it keeps my videos well lit. So now moving on to the camera that I use. I use the Canon 80D camera. I've been using this camera for about two years now and I really enjoy it. This was definitely an investment piece. When I purchased mine, it was about $1,200 but it came with two lenses. I recently saw this on Amazon for $8.50. So yes, it is expensive, but you definitely get really good quality from it. And yeah, and then this is the lens that I use. I will try to link everything down below the 18.55 mm. I don't know, I'm not too techy, but that's the camera. Now, before I got the Canon 80D for the longest, I was using the Canon T3i. That one I got for $300 and I really enjoyed it. It filmed really nice. The quality was really good. The only thing with the T3i that I didn't like was that it didn't autofocus, but I know the Canon T5i is cheaper than this one. That one has autofocus, and um, the Sony A5100 is another good camera too. That one autofocuses, and that one's around three to four hundred dollars. 
You can also use your iPhone if you wanted to film. I feel like iPhone cameras are so good now that if you were interested in starting a channel, get good lighting and use your iPhone camera and I feel like you'd be set. And then for my mic, I didn't always use a, use a mic, but this is the one that I have been recently using. I literally have it tied around my tripod with a hair tie. It's supposed to go on top of the camera, but I have my light there. So I just like wrapped it around here and tied it with a hair tie. I'm so ghetto. But it is the Comica light. Again, I'll link it down below. I got this from Amazon as well. I want to say I got this light for $20, $30 or $45. I can't remember. It comes with the fuzzy to help like soften the sound. So I've been really liking that one. It's really good. Then when I'm sitting down and filming, this is what I'm looking at. So you can see I have my light there, two lights here and voila a lot of people are asking in my amazon video how i connect my camera to my ipad so the cool thing about canon is that if you have a dslr camera and it has an app in the app store called canon connect and you just download the app and that's what i use to connect it i'll show you what the app looks like so it's this app right here canon connect and i'm able to connect my camera through wi-fi so that's really cool but before i had my canon 80d i had the t3i and canon does have a similar app that you can use with that one that one i don't think i was able to hook up with wi-fi i just used the a cord that came with the camera and i would hook it up to my computer and then that would be my viewfinder but i think it's really cool that canon offers that because this is completely free i don't have to pay for anything separate and it allows me to connect it i'm not sure if sony or nikon has something like that but um you could definitely look into it so yeah that's my lighting that's my mic situation and then how i connect my camera and then this is the little table that i use to film on i actually have it completely lined with aluminum foil and the reason that i have that there is so that way once i'm sitting this just basically helps pick up the light from my lighting everywhere and light up the bottom of my face so you can see i'm lit from both sides from the front and then there's just a little ray of light shining the bottom of my face. I literally just took regular aluminum foil and taped it to my desk. So actually, I actually recently set this desk up here to film on. Before I filmed with this, I used this bar cart right here that is now full of all my hair tools and palettes and sometimes this little table. But um, this desk actually used to be here, but I got some separate legs from Ikea so that I could put in the center of my room and have more room to film on. A lot of people have been asking about my vanity and desk. So these are all from Ikea. I purchased some little by little. So I started off with just like two Alex drawers. These I want to say are like $75. They might be more. No, Michael's makes um similar ones now too for a little cheaper but i got two of those and um like an eight dollar tabletop from ikea and that was my original desk and then once i moved out i just added a uh, extra ikea drawer here and then i purchased more tabletops don't mind my mouse i have a random book hanging there so the legs that are on the side here those are those are only four dollars for a pack of two so i use those to kind of balance out the sides just because i didn't want to get so many alex drawers because they are pretty expensive so i have that to balance out that side my drawer tabletop and then i got a corner tabletop from ikea here so that i get more space there and then on this side i have another tabletop alex drawers and then two legs and i like this setup from ikea because i'm able to move it around so like if i end up wanting to put this back over here it's really easy to move back and forth add more legs to this tabletop if i want to put this alex drawer somewhere else it just makes it really easy to piece apart and kind of create your own vanity however you like it and however works for you and again these were all stuff that i purchased little by little over the years but yeah, I hope that that made sense because I feel like it's really hard to explain. Oh yeah, and then this little guy that I used to hold my iPad on is from Amazon. This is the tripod that I use. My grandfather got it for me for Christmas back in 2014. He got this for me when I first ever started like my YouTube channel and it has held up great throughout the years. It is by the brand Targus. I will look it up and link it down below. I 
don't think it was that expensive at all. And like I said, it has definitely held up throughout the years. It's adjustable and I just love it. I can't complain about it. It's sturdy too and it's just a great tripod. I guess this is the type that it is. But yeah, that wraps it up for my filming setup. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for my filming setup. It has definitely evolved a lot throughout the years. When I first started filming, I just used to use a regular window and I felt like that worked great too. Then I used to only use a ring light. I also went to a point where I was only using box lights. So you can honestly customize it and play with it for what you like. If you wanna start a YouTube channel though, the main thing that I suggest is good lighting, good camera quality, and it doesn't have to be like a thousand dollar camera, but like your iPhone camera in front of a natural sunlight or just a ring light and you should be good to go. Don't overthink it. You don't need to get everything all at once. You can get things in bits and pieces throughout the years and as your channel you know, starts growing. That's honestly what I did because I do not have thousands and thousands of dollars to dish out on a bunch of expensive equipment. Over the years, when I was younger for Christmas, I would ask for things here and there. And yeah, the more I want to change my quality, I'll just get little stuff here and there. And so far, I'm happy with my setup. I think it's pretty good. And I haven't broken the bank too bad with this setup. So if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support. I pray that you guys stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.